Where's that treasure? Arguing good morning, it's the Pirate Stacker coming at ya. Yes, we're back. Mornings even. I made it. <laughs> I know, I've been terrible about getting it done. A uh, couple quick shout outs, and I have a really special deal today from uh, Silver Game of Thrones. Man, that guy is a legend. So awesome. So awesome. Uh... Quick thanks to Spectacular. He sent me his awesome sticker. Very cool. Neat. Thank you, Speg. That'll go on the board. Another thank you to Mark. Mark is a viewer and he saw how pathetic my gold was. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Pirate. Sorry it took so long, but here is your gold. Now, Mark didn't owe me no gold. He just felt bad for me. Uh, didn't know what to put it in, so gave you a vial and a coin thing. Up to you what you want it in. The coin lid thing will come off, so be careful. The gold came from Colorado, and some of it I panned from the river myself, from the river in Ohio. Really love your channel, and said to myself, he is a pirate, and he needs some gold. So here it is. It is right around a gram, so enjoy your friend, Mark Mitchell. P.S. Sorry, I have no channel stickers. I'm new to stacking and the YouTube thing. Mark, I'm going to check you out. I don't know if you have content or not, but check it out. He sent me the vial if I want to put it in there, which I definitely do. And a gram of gold. Real deal. Look at that. It's beautiful. Incredible, Mark. Thank you so much. I'm going to send some loot back at you. That is super cool. Super cool. Man, you guys are great. I uh, I can't say enough. Silver Game of Thrones. This next one's about him. In fact, my whole video is about him. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this shine early. Cheers to you guys. Mark, Silver Game of Thrones. You guys, you guys are awesome, man. I got to say, my tolerance is coming up. On this moonshine. That is definitely palatable. Woo! But it still kicks you in the throat for sure. <laughs> Next up, Silver Game of Thrones. Look, I've talked about this guy several times. He's literally one of my favorite channels. He is so entertaining. He tells you no bullshit, guys. And he's got this European accent and he's funny as heck but this guy is super informative and I don't know what he does for a living but he is always on the cutting edge of everything and to top it all off he's got over 400 ounces of copper which I'm pretty sure makes him the biggest copper stacker there is and he bought a bunch of them from this guy uh, who owns a company called Grim Metals and this dude sent him the biggest box of loot, man. Just bars and cubes. And it's so amazing. And I watched his video. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed uh, to Silver Game of Thrones, subscribe to him. Not only is he entertaining, he has tons of value in his content. Uh, super intelligent. Anyway, he's just a great channel. And he was nice enough because I was just like, Dude, all those medals. I didn't even know some of these medals existed. And he got these things. So he sent me some of this stuff that I could share with you guys on my channel, which I think is incredible. So I'm really excited. And I'm going to open up every package here so we can pull it out and hopefully diagnose what each one is. And it's got the little grim medals. Now, Grim Metals has an awesome site. If you're into just collecting or stacking other metals, they do all kinds. And the bars and stuff, I mean, look at this little loaf. What a cool piece, right? All right, I can already tell I'm half blind. I'm going to need my loop, so I'm going to grab my loop out real fast so that I can read what these are. So don't mind me, I'm in the background here working, finding the old loop, because Pirate's half blind, especially after that moonshine. <laughs> Alright, 
Got my loop. Now I can see what's happening. All right, I'm going to hold it up real fast. One Troy ounce, three nines, ten. Now that is a loaf of tin. How cool is it? It's just, it's shiny, it's neat. Man, I love it. I love it. And in fact, I had already designated that I had a treasure chest just for these metals. So I got this little chest here, and we're going to put them in here. Because I think that they're so awesome. So, so awesome. <clears throat> so that's a loaf of tin. How cool. All of these are so neat. All right. Now here's this piece. One ounce Troy. Three nines B.I. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking B.I. is Bicinium or Bizinium. Something of that nature. I'm going to have to look it up. B.I. I think it's like Bizinium or something. But look at what a cool bar that is. Man, it's just neat. Such a cool piece. And see, I love having different stuff like this. Because I just think... I mean, aside from the beauty of it, I just feel like it is, all of these metals are only going to get more and more scarce, depending on their use, you know. And here's another beautiful little loaf. Oh, that one I can read. It, one Troy ounce, three nines zinc. Now, you know, here's something interesting. <clears throat> because I've heard it said that only precious metals get weighed in troy ounces. So I wonder, I mean, is zinc deemed a precious metal? I mean, it looks it looks killer. It's like the most silver silver that you can find. In person, these little loafs are just stunning. They're super cool. Again, Silver Game of Thrones, thank you so much. I can't say enough. I think it is so awesome. And I love, I love it. And this is going into my, my permanent deep collection. And Grim Metals, everybody, check them out as well. If I can get this. Pirates got big thumbs. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. One Troy ounce, three nines lead. Now, it may just be that he's... He's putting these into Troy ounces as he knows people are stacking them as, uh, as, as a precious metal as opposed to stacking them for something else. I don't know. Because I don't think lead is precious. I don't think zinc's precious either. But it looks super cool. And I'm going to have to imagine that there is such a thing as lead poisoning. So I am going to put that one back in its plastic. In fact, I'll probably put them all back in their plastic. But, you know, I wonder if these will tone. If these will tone like, uh, like, other, like silver does and copper. Really interesting. I'm going to have to do some research because I, I think it's really neat. These little loaves of metal, I mean, they look so neat in this form. And I imagine probably any of it does, but it's just neat to have that piece, you know. And this one, one Troy ounce, three nines, indium. Indium. Grim metals. Man, they're so neat. It literally is like a mini loaf of bread. <laughs> really cool pieces. Again, that's, that's so awesome. We're putting that into my treasure chest. It's getting its own little unique box, and we're going to fill that thing up with some cool little pieces. Again, Grim Metals, guys, uh, they sell all of this stuff in cubes and bigger bulk, as well as these smaller pieces. And a big thank you to my friend, Silver Game of Thrones. Check him out. Dude's well over a 1,000 subs now. He's flying. Great channel, really entertaining. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a terrific day. We'll see you tomorrow. Pirate out. <laughs>